Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to finally FIFA 13 footage at last we're here we have some and uh, you know I'm down with a ton of other youtubers I mentioned it I talked a little bit about it in my last video about what I was off to do and yeah I'm pretty much down here recording FIFA 13 footage and uh, having a lot of fun with a bunch of other youtubers we're just it's it's all just a good laugh and um, a lot of fun just to meet the guys that you speak to often so um, yeah let's get into it anyways let's talk a little bit about FIFA 13 and uh, the two teams that you're seeing if you didn't already see, you're going to be seeing uh, PSG going up against um, Barcelona. And the Barcelona kit is actually really, really cool looking. Um, well, I don't know. It's kind of cool, but at the same time, I find it really ugly. I really just can't decide at all. Um, PSG, obviously, a big side to be using. Menez is stripped of his five-star skills. He's down to four-star. Um, same with Lovetsy, um, four-star as well. So... Um, all those sort of things is kind of disheartening. Uh, one of the biggest things that I did notice this year in FIFA 13 is the fact that five-star skillers are now a real rare trait to have, to be honest with you. Um, there's there's only a few of them out there who have it. Um, you know, in FIFA 12, um, there wasn't as many as there was in 11. But uh, I remember, you know, at least in FIFA 12, you could have a team where you'd, where you'd have at least maybe like three, four, five-star skillers. Now you'd be lucky if you have two in the team. And uh, uh, if, you, if you guys are, you know, interested in skilling and things, one of the the teams that I found to be uh, the best is uh, FC Porto. Um, they have a lot of four-star skillers and a couple of five-star skillers. Um, so that's just a that's just a tip there. Obviously, Hulk has headed off to Zenit, so he won't be in the team. But let's talk a little bit more about the gameplay. That's what you guys are here to see and do. Um, I just chopped up some highlights. This is a game against, um, I believe, it was Alistair Reed, one of the um, community managers who um, deal who deals with FIFA and is involved in FIFA 13. So um, I played him. I, I believe I yeah I think I was Barcelona and he was PSG. And I actually get really lucky straight off uh, straight off the bat. You know. Three minutes in, and uh, I get my first goal there, which was uh, which was quite funny, you know, a bit of a bit of a mess up with uh, players bumping over each other and things, but eventually it hits the back of the net, and uh, Messi gets a goal. So. Um, FIFA 13. Now, I'm going to give you guys uh, what, what what I think, uh, how it will be, and how to, you know, adapt so that you get the best out of FIFA 13. So, the biggest tip I can give you guys, and this will be, like, the number one thing for me, is please, please don't hold down that sprint button all day, every day, because it literally screws with your first touch. Um, if you hold down the sprint button and uh, you take on the touch, it'll ping all over the place. Um, it'll bounce, you know, a good five meters in front of you and things. And it's uh, it's a real mess if you hold down that right trigger too much. So to the people um, who, who enjoyed the Abong Lahore use and uh, just holding down that right trigger for most of the game, you'll struggle a lot more in this game because... Uh, you know, it's a lot more based, so if I hold right trigger when I get my first touch, um, they're going to absolutely screw me, and uh, it doesn't look good at all. So uh, that's one of that's probably my uh, biggest tip for you guys, is do that. The next thing is, if you if you ever, you know, a, a lot of the hardcore FIFA players used it, but it was uh, the left trigger, right trigger skill dribble, and uh, in FIFA 12, it was more of a thing, like you do that, and it give you a crazy boost of pace, and uh, you could sprint past defenders. Different. Instead of this, um, all you get is really... Uh, you know that boost of pace you still do get that when you when you um, exit in the right angle so if you get it at the perfect angle you can accelerate at really fast speeds but it's more used now where your feet start to get tricky you start to be able to jinx round defenders and uh, the game is drastically like the pace in the game is much slower so um, dribbling stats passing stats are gonna come into play a whole lot more than your usual just pace 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 I mean obviously in any FIFA game pace is going to be quite a big factor but uh, I can guarantee you in FIFA 13 pace will not be as big of a, as big of a factor as uh, you guys have previously seen in FIFA's which makes it really cool for me because um, FIFA 13 really promotes the idea of build-up play the passing play but it's not to the point where um, you know it's, it's a full possession game you still have those moments where you just want to uh, play that killer through ball and uh, you know just sprint all the way to the other end and uh, put it in but um, so it's a really solid mix and that's what I like about it um, obviously, for me, um, the attacking intelligence, aka the way these players make their runs, so they make darting runs through the pitch, um, which really helps me out anyways, because uh, you, I don't know if you guys knew, but if you hold left bumper, um, it forces the CPU to make a manual run on FIFA 12. Now they do it a lot more um, automatically, I think is the word. Um, you know, they just do it without you having to command them to do it. And uh, not only that, but one of, one of the awesome things is, and they've done it a few times for me, is 
because they'll run uh, they'll run and then they'll realize they're offside so they'll kind of pull back a little bit and then they'll can then they'll start their run again when you feel as though uh, they, they want the pass so that works out so nicely and when you actually see it done you're like damn like if he if he had just kept going like he would have in FIFA um in FIFA 12, like, I would have just had no chance. The attacking option there would have been completely gone and a chance wasted. But these guys are uh, these guys are really good. And one of the things that I get asked a lot is, you know, they improve the attacking intelligence. What did they do to the defense? You know, are the defense just going to get completely um, crapped on? And uh, the truth to that is the defense works uh, still very well contained. Um, it's still powerful, but very much more balanced. And uh, as you can see, I went for that... Uh, the trick where you uh, it's a it's a standing fake shot and you just uh, kick and you completely miss the ball obviously it's on purpose and uh, it's meant to fool the defender but it, you know it doesn't work all the time it works occasionally but it's more of one of those show off skills that you do and uh, if you guys are interested in how to do that it's a, just a simple hold left trigger and do a fake shot while standing still and uh, he should do it and i've scored a, a couple funny goals where that happens it often leads to me kicking someone in the nuts which is uh, <laughs> always really cool and um He'll fall to the floor as well, which is pretty funny, but uh, he doesn't go holding his nays or anything. So, uh, yeah, anyways, uh, I mean, that's that. Um, there's not really that much more to say based on this game. You know, I do want to bring you guys a lot more FIFA 13. I have a lot more FIFA 13 to bring you all. So let me know what would you like to see. I've got a career mode video going up. Um, well, not going up soon, but um, it's going in for approval. And uh, then it will be up soon. So I've got career mode videos on the way. Um, I've got some more teams. List the teams you'd like to see. Um, I've been asked a lot on Twitter recently. Cal, post player rating uh, videos. You know, uh, five, who are the five star skillers, things like that. And... Um, um, I simply can't for the reason that I don't want to give you guys a bunch of false information because what could happen, um, you know, it's, it's very likely that it could happen is that they're changing these player stats um, things every single day essentially and uh, you know I don't want to give you guys outdated information what's the point in me telling you who this person and this person is is if by the final game they're not even going to be that so for that reason I haven't done it but uh, you know they what we're playing on now is pretty much going to be final they might make changes though so that's why i haven't done it and uh, if you follow me on twitter that's where i've been telling everyone hey guys you know this person's rated this and uh, you know it's going to be close enough they might go up one or down one and maybe their skills or skill move might change for, uh, by one star but nothing drastic so that's it for me guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then leaving a like favorite comment subscribe whatever you want and uh, obviously like i said if you want more fifa 13 then uh, hit subscribe if you haven't already so that's it from me guys i hope you all enjoyed this video and i'll see you later Bye bye